Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome to today's video. Uh, so, few changes. So we got a new camera, which you can't see obviously because I'm recording with it. Um, but we got a new camera, uh, so these videos will now be uploaded in 4K, which is awesome. Uh, only thing is we're dropping down to 30 frames per second instead of the 60 where we were at before, but that really shouldn't, you know, cause us any issues. It's not like, you know, we need super uh, smooth motion here. So, um, new camera, which is awesome, and back here we have our motor. So we have that on the stand, um, all prepped, ready to go. And here we have all our parts uh, to assemble the bottom end. So we're just about ready, not just about, we're ready to start the bottom end build, uh, which we're gonna do right now. So I'm gonna flip you guys over, show you exactly what we got, um, talk about a few of the parts, and then we'll get right into the build. And I won't show you guys how to build the motor. There's a lot of great videos out already on YouTube, and I'll link a few of them below on how to build not only motors, but this exact motor, so you can see how their VR6 is put together. But I'll give you guys a quick time lapse of me doing it. Um, we already did the uh, rings, uh, so they're gapped and ready to go. I didn't want to bore you with that. Uh, but the rest of the measurements we're going to do with some plastic gauge, get everything set, make sure it all makes sense, everything looks good, and then we'll just get started. Uh, so I'm going to flip you guys around. We're going to check out the parts from right to left, and then we'll get started on the time lapse for the motor assembly. Okay, so going right to left, in the back, we have our power tools, which don't matter right now. <laughs> I'm sorry, those are kind of in the way. But here we have our main caps, uh, all cleaned, ready to go, uh, checked, make sure they were all set, no issues with any of them. And the bearing surfaces look perfect as well. So those are good to go. Have the arrows, <clears throat> have the arrows on top telling us which way they go in the block. So all good there. Then we have our crankshaft. So our crankshaft got polished, cleaned uh, when we took the block to the machine shop. So all good there, talked to the machinist, had no issues. From there we have our ARP hardware for the main cap. So these are holding, these are holding this down. Uh, we don't have our head hardware yet, so our heads won't be on today. That stuff is super delayed, so hopefully we can get that in soon. Then here we're looking at our bearings. So these are bearings we bought from vr6parts.com, Shimmel Performance. Um, awesome people, awesome service, and super fast shipping. So if you need any parts for your VR, make sure to check them out. I'll drop their info down in the description below, and I'll also throw it on the screen so you can see it, vr6parts.com. And I'll link uh, the bearing set I got down below. Over here, we have our pistons. So pistons are JE pistons. Uh, they're 83 millimeter, so overboard one millimeter, uh, to help us clear some issues we had with the bore on the block. Uh, but it's nice because it gives us a little extra displacement. These are also compression dropping, uh, so we're dropping to 9 to 1 compression with the pistons. At the end, I think we're going to end up with uh, about 9.5 to 1 with the head gasket we're going to use. But we have all the pistons there, all six of them, with the rings gapped. And from the rings, uh, we come over here to our rods. So our rods, again, huge shout out to Max Speeding. I'm going to drop the info down below, as well as there's a discount link that you guys could use. It's Quattro S4, just my YouTube channel. And you can get a discount off any of the parts they sell, not just the rods. So they sell a bunch of stuff for a lot of different platforms. But I'm going to show you guys real quick how to get to the site, use the discount, and get yourself some good discounted parts, especially when you're looking at rods. Okay, so here we go, we're on the Max Speeding uh, Rods website. You can see the rods there. And what we're gonna do actually is come over here and uh, insert what car we're looking for. So in this case, we got 2000, we're gonna do Audi, and we're gonna do S4. In here, you could you know put whatever car you want, of course, or whatever you do own and then find uh, whatever products Max Speeding Rods carries for your car. So you can see there's a bunch of stuff here, uh, but what we're looking at here are these rods. So we're gonna click on these. These are rods for the 2.7T. Uh, you can get the rods for the uh, 3.2 VR6s, so 24 valves or 2.8 24 valve, as well as the uh, 2.8 12 valve VR6s as well. And to find those, you can easily just type it in up here as well. Or like we did earlier, just insert your car. And we're gonna just go here and hit add to cart. Now when we're adding them to the cart, you'll see all this other stuff pops up. See so if you wanna buy connecting rods for something else, which in this case wouldn't make sense. Uh, but we will now go over to checkout. And once we click checkout, uh, you'll see here, 
you have all your delivery details. So I have already typed in all my info here. Uh, this will be blurred off for you guys. Um, but once you type in all your information, you're gonna come down to payment details. And in payment details is where you're gonna type in your code. So in this case, have the keyboard popping up here. We're gonna type in four and just hit that caps lock. U-A-T-T-R-O-S-4. Hit apply. And boom, here we'll see that $74 off for that 15% off of the rods or anything else you buy on the site. And then you can simply just check out using PayPal or any of the other um, payment methods that they accept here and continue with your order from there. So make sure to take advantage of this promo. It's gonna be active for a while. Um, use it, abuse it, make sure you get your rods and anything else you need for your car. And now that we did that, I can uh, throw you guys on our tripod here and we'll get started on the time lapse of putting this thing together. So the first step is to check our bearing clearances um, for the crank and the rods. So we're gonna get started on that. I'll throw you guys on and time lapse will start.
Okay, so that is basically all I had for you guys. So um, in the next few videos, we're gonna do an installation of the clutch that we got from Ringer Racing. So that should be awesome. So that'll be coming up next, I believe. And then right after that, we're gonna be talking about the intake exhaust manifolds and the rest of the setup, uh, which we'll be getting here in the next two weeks or so. Uh, but that's the motor there. Uh, motor is complete-ish. Um, and we'll keep uh, just adding uh, pieces to it as the next few weeks go by. So we're pretty close to getting this thing in the car. We have our mounts, we have all our stuff. Just getting a bunch of that stuff powder coated, looking right so that it matches the whole scheme. And uh, hopefully we get this thing in the car very, very soon. But uh, please make sure to drop a like, subscribe, hit that notification bell icon so you guys are notified when I drop my next video. And uh, you know, just help the channel keep winning. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.